Hi, welcome to my video on solving equations using long, the natural logarithm. This is part one. Solve for x, exact value, with long. Previously, we solved this equation with log, L-O-G. Now we're going to solve it with long. Since x is in the exponent, the long of e to the x equals the long of 3. Because of the power rule, x moves to the front of the log or long. And the long of e is 1. So x equals long 3. Number 2, again x is in the exponent, so we'll do the long of each side. The exponent x minus 2 moves to the front as a multiplication. And again, the ln of e is 1, so 1 times x minus 2 is x minus 2. So x is equal to 2 plus ln 9. Notice I put 2 in front of the ln. The reason, if I move, if I did this ln 9 plus 2, then the 9 is with the ln and not the 2, so you've got to be careful. So if you did that, you get, if, 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 you, if you had, like, that would be, this is the ln of 9 plus 2, which is the ln of 11. But if you've got the ln of 9 add on to, then the 9 is with the ln, but the 2 is not. So I put the 2 in front, so we wouldn't get mixed up. Number three, again, x is in the exponents, so I'm going to do the ln. But notice the 7 times e to the power of 4x equals 21. We can divide by 7. So e to the 4x equals 3. 7 and 21 goes 3. Now we can do the ln of each side. Why? Because x is in the exponent. So 4x ln e equals ln 3. The ln of e is 1. 4x times 1 is 4x equals ln 3. So we divide by 4. So we have x equals uh, ln 3 over 4 or 1 quarter ln 3. Number 4 is a different equation. So notice we have e to the 2x and e to the x. So I'm going to let e to the x, the middle one, e to the x be a. So e to the x squared. So e to the 2x is the same as e to the x squared because you have uh, 2 times x is 2x. So that means that e to the x is a, so we have an a squared minus 8a plus 7 equals 0. Notice we have a quadratic in terms of a, so we got brackets, double brackets. a squared is a and a, factors of 7 are 7 times 1. The product is positive, the sum is negative. So product is positive, must be two negative and two positive, so negative 7, negative 1. So a minus 7 equals 0, or a minus 1 equals 0. So a is equal to 7, a is equal to 1. Now we go back, and a is equal to e to the x equals 7. And we'll do the ln of each side, because x is in the exponent. So we got x ln e equals ln 7. Ln of e is 1. The ln of, try your calculator. Uh, just, I'll use my calculator. The ln of e is 1. So turn on my calculator and go ln of e to the 1 power. So this is e to the 1. So the ln of e is 1 just to demonstrate. And we have a is 1, so e to the x equals 1. So what power of e gives me a 1? x equals 0. So the answer, the exact values, x is ln 7 or x is 0. Two answers.
Okay, let's continue. More equations using ln. And we're using ln now instead of log log. Ln is just a little bit quicker. Number five, we have an equation here. And notice that we have e to the 2x plus 2 minus e to the x plus 2. Negative 3e to the 2x plus 2. So notice e to the 2 is here in each one. So I'm going to go e to the 2x. Because that's a plus, we can treat it as e to the 2. So e to the 2x times e to the 2 is, you add, negative 2 e to the x times e squared. Negative 3 e to the 2x times e squared. So all these pluses are multiplication. So when you multiply exponentials, you add the exponents. So we add, perfect, add, perfect, add, perfect. Notice that e squared is in each one of these. So we can divide by e squared. So when we divide each term by e squared, we get e squared cancels out, and so we get e to the 2x subtract 2, e to the x subtract negative 3, e to the 2x. So this is e to the 2x, e to the 2x, so e to the 2x plus 3, e to the 2x minus 2, e to the x equals 0. So I took this e to the 2x, move it here, made it positive. Now we notice that this e to the 2x is the same as this one. So these two terms are alike. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So we got 4e to the 2x minus 2e to the x. And notice, again, I'm going to let e to the x equal a. So this is a, 4, a, so remember, e to the 2x is the same as e to the x squared. So that's an a squared minus 2 times a equals 0. And we have a quadratic, uh, but we only have two terms. But 2 is common, and a is common. 2a is the GCF. So 4a squared divided by 2a is 2a. Negative 2a divided by 2a is negative 1. So we have 2a, 2a equals 0, or we have 2a minus 1 equals 0. So divide by 2, a is equal to 0. 2a equals 1, divide by 2, so a equals a half. So a is e to the x, so that means e to the x equals 0. So e to the x, no matter what power of x you put here, e to the x is always greater than 0. So there's no answer for this one. So a is a half, so that means e to the x equals a half. We do the ln of each side because x is in the exponent. So x ln e equals ln of a half. The ln of e is 1, so x equals ln of a half. So there's only one answer so that satisfies this equation. Ln of one half. Now we have a similar equation here to the previous two, but we have a e to the negative x, e to the x, and e to the 3x. And what I do, the one of the easiest ways is you would want any negative exponents. So the opposite of e to the negative x, I should say the opposite or reciprocal, is e to the x. So if I multiply each term by e to the x, why I do that? Because e to the negative x times e to the x is e to the x. When we multiply, we add, we get 0, which is 1. So multiplying e to the negative x by e to the x is reciprocal. 
we, we get a 1. Now, when we multiply these two, we get, we multiply, we add the exponents, we get 4x. And when we multiply these two, we add the exponents, we get e x squared. So we have e to the 4x minus 9 e to the 2x plus 20 equals 0. And notice, again, e, now notice the middle one is e to the 2x squared. So that means I'm going to let e to the 2x equal a. So I have a squared minus 9a plus 20 equals 0. And again, there's a quadratic factorable, a times a, 20, they get a 9. The factors of 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. So 4 times 5 gives me 20. Again, the product is positive, sum is negative, so it's negative 4, negative 5. So a minus 4 is equal to 0. A minus 5 equals 0. So A is 4. A is 5. And we replace A with E to the 2X equals 4. And now X is in the exponent, so we do the ln of each side. 2X goes in front of the ln by power rule. And so ln e is 1, so 2x times 1 is 2x equals ln 4. And we divide by 2, so x is equal to ln 4 divided by 2, or a half ln 4. And we have a is 5, so e to the 2x equals 5. We do, again, the ln of both sides because x is in the exponent. So 2x ln e, power rule, 2x goes in front as a multiplication. The ln of e is 1, so 2x equals ln 5, divide by 2, and x equals a half ln 5. Now this could also be, that's one answer, you could also have, if you want, that you could have ln 4 divided by 2. You could go ln 4 to the half. So that's the same as the ln of 2. Or you could go ln 5 to the half power, because any number in front can go to the power of this number. And that's 5 to the 1 half is the square root of 5. So you can have, you could have ln 4 divided by 2, ln 5 divided by 2, you could have a half ln 4, you could have ln 2, you could have a half ln 5, ln 5 divided by 2, or the ln of root 5. These are the two values that will fit into this equation. And I just wanted to do some extra problems using ln, ln. Remember, we could have solved these equations also using LOG, but I decided to use LON since we practice with LON. And if you like my video, click the like button. And if you're not a subscriber and you subscribe, click the subscribe button. And visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content that I have on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video is of some help to you. Bye-bye.